Alright, welcome to the I Am Responding app tutorial. We're going to walk you through how the actual app works and hopefully this will help you in the process of introducing yourself to the app and using it a bit better. So the IAR app, which is the I Am Responding app, we'll just go ahead and click that. Uh, what pops up next is the incident notification detail. So this is essentially, we've been paged out to an incident, our pages have activated, our I am responding has activated. Up comes this sheet here saying uh, we basically have a call for assistance general public, or 105 Lower Ganges Road. And so now on the bottom right hand, we have this respond now in the red. We're going to go ahead and click that. Up comes a scroll wheel where we can go through and select where we're responding to. So for this incidence, I'm going to respond directly to the scene. So by clicking scene, it actually logs me in as responding directly to the scene for this incident. So down the bottom left, you'll see that dashboard button. We're going to click that, and this is going to show us now the list of firefighters that are responding to this actual emergency. So as you can see, I'm the only one responding at this time. Uh, it says my name, Arjuna George, Deputy Fire Chief. It shows that I'm a driver, and it shows that I'm responding directly to the scene. You can see also that it actually shows an ETA uh, roughly 10 minutes away from my arrival at the scene. So this is the main page where firefighters will uh, begin to be appearing on this this page. Uh, as the incident grows, more and more firefighters will be responding, and this list will grow and grow. So this is where the opportunity to actually see who's responding and the numbers, and that's where really this app is going to be beneficial for us. So if you look down at the bottom, you'll see the incidents with the bell. If we click on that, it essentially shows us a list of incidents over the last 30 days uh, that we can actually click on and view, basically. So if we just go ahead and click one here. So this is showing an assistance call, 105 Lower Ganges Road. Essentially from here, if you go to the bottom left, you'll see View Location. If I click that, it'll actually pop up with a Google Map showing where I am, which is A, and location of the incident, which is B, and it shows me a Google, uh, basically a navigation uh, right from my spot, right to where we're responding to. So this is a hybrid version where you can actually see um, a photographic overlay, which is very beneficial. And you can just pinch and zoom just like you would with any other uh, your iPhones or Android devices, uh, which is a very easy and smooth way to, to zoom in and out. So you can do directions, which is useful. So you can actually do a directions, and you can also do street view, which is extremely beneficial. Uh, being able to see exactly the location you're responding to and seeing it in a Google street view. So using the navigation is a great tool. It provides a, another tool for us to use while we're uh, getting ready to respond. Uh, don't use this while you're driving. Use this as a tool before you get in your vehicle and you actually know where you're going and uh, respond safely. So by clicking back we went to this page here and down in the very center here you'll see that message icon. If we click on that uh, up will appear a new screen. This essentially is a mass texting screen and this I am responding app allows us to send out mass texts to the whole department. Uh, so the admin or the duty officer can send out a mass text to everyone with the I am responding app. And as an example here, Captain Jamie Holmes sent out one on last Tuesday. Uh, 
letting everyone know about the practice at hall number two, 1900 hours. So once again, this is just another tool and another method for us to communicate better with the membership and basically just another way to communicate. So if we go back to the dashboard here, which is the bottom left, there's two more screens to look at here. So at this at this area here, you can actually slide your finger over and you'll see this on duty screen. Uh, this on duty screen will essentially show you uh, be the duty officer on scene or the duty crew, um, the Christmas duty crew, anything like that can be all listed in this area here. And then one more screen over, you'll see a list of all our apparatus that we have in our fleet. Uh, you'll, so you'll see they're all in service here, except there's one that I have an example as engine 202 is out of service. So this is a, another method for us to communicate with the entire department on important uh, apparatus um, updates and allows for everyone to be totally uh, up to speed and uh, up to date on, on how our apparatus is right now. So another great method to communicate better to everyone and to keep everyone up to speed uh, in real time. So I hope that uh, little tutorial helped and hopefully uh, using this app is going to be a great uh, ease for you and it's going to be a great asset to us as firefighters. Thank you.